We're going to bring in our panel because Jeffrey's chief market strategist, Z David Zervos, is here on set. And we're also joined by Barbara Duran, BD8 Capital Chief Investment Officer. Good afternoon to you both. David, it's great to have you here in studio. Um, here. I do want to circle back on the Fed with you because we did have this late day, and stocks were higher all day, but we had this late day rally for stocks. We saw Treasury yields come off uh, more aggressively in the final hours of trading here. And the takeaway seems to be that Fed Chair Powell reserved the right for more rate increases, but there's a sense that maybe his tone has shifted and he was not redirecting the market, to use Steve Leisman's term, toward another rate hike. You see it the same way? I think that's largely right. I think he, this was about as dovish as you've seen Chair Powell since all of this began. I don't think there's been a more That's dovish a big press, statement. I don't think there's been a more dovish press conference since this all began and even in the lead up to rate hikes last March when he was prepping us for us. I mean he, he said that the balance of risks for over tightening versus under tightening are basically now symmetric, which is something new. Uh, he didn't say it, that wasn't in the statement, but that was reiterated twice during the press conference. That was my biggest takeaway is that I, I actually thought it was as close to a victory lap as I've seen, which I'm not sure, I'm not sure is what he wanted to, to give us, but he gave it to us. And I think the market's applauding it, but he has to be quite careful with it because he did reserve the right to come back. If inflation picks back up, he could definitely give us another one or stick with higher for longer for a much more extended period of time, which is certainly plausible and probably even likely. But... Um, yeah, it was much more victory lapish and much more, I think, dovish than we've seen in the past. Interesting. Barbara, I want to get your thoughts on this as well, whether you see it as a, as a victory lap. And given the fact that Powell also reiterated the fact that maybe we haven't seen the full effect of interest rates, how much this has yet to translate to earnings and to corporate balance sheets, especially given the fact that we have had a pretty noisy quarter so far? Yeah. Well, first, I do agree with David. It really struck me as a victory lap, too, saying basically the risks are balanced. We are in perfect alignment here. And he also said when asked directly, he does not see a recession, which indicates he does see a strong economy while saying at the same time we've got moderation in job growth and wages. And also it was interesting, he, he added this time to credit tighter, credit conditions, tighter financial, acknowledging what's happened in the backup of rates, but was reluctant to commit to saying what this means in terms of interest rate hikes. And certainly several strategists have equated it to three to four 25 BIP hikes. So what I think, you know, for my takeaway, you know, as an equity investor, given what's happened in the last three months with 10 percent correction, a lot of stocks have come down. There's bearish sentiment. Technically, we look oversold. You saw the ISM number come in today in terms of that was manufacturing weaker than expected. We've been watching credit balances go up, delinquencies go up. The economy clearly is slowing. There's concerns about consumer spending. So I think we may just be still on target for a, quote, soft landing, and that's positive for equities. If you looked at earnings that have come in so far, and this week's going to be about the halfway point, but if you look at um, looking at what fact set, some fact set numbers, if you do the blended um, average, both what is estimated what's been reported, it's coming in at about four plus percent. X energy, that's 10 percent. That marks the first positive quarter in a year since third quarter last year. And of course, that is what the market is looking at in earnings. And guidance has been pretty decent. It obviously depends on the sector and mm -hmm. the company. But it is setting up, I think, for a possible year-end rally. I think a lot is discounted right now. And certainly that was a, uh, that was a very positive and highly confident uh, pal today.